Um, thank you for your time tonight. I have three children in the KUSD system. Up until about six months ago, I was a stay-at-home mom. Our three children are neurodivergent. They require a lot of appointments, um, a lot of support, a lot of me going to school just to make sure everything's okay and to calm them down. One of the sacrifices we had to make for me to do this was go down to one car. And we're incredibly fortunate because we were able to have me do that at all. Obviously, one of the challenges with having one car is we have to do a lot of walking. So our kids walk to school every day, they walk home every day. Sometimes, as well with the youngest, I walk with them. And we did this when it was raining, snowing, when it was hot out, in all kinds of weather. And a lot of times other kids would join us. Um, frequently you'll see kids as young as six or seven walking by themselves or with their slightly older siblings. Luckily they don't have to walk a half mile to a mile because our schools are close enough together. And these kids, their parents don't have an option to walk with them. They aren't as fortunate as we are. My big concern as we look at closing these schools is that we're putting these small children in a position where they may have to walk up to two miles each way to get up to school. We already have issues with truancy. We already have issues with kids regularly just being late to school. This is going to make that worse. I am encouraging the board to consider other options before we close schools. There are community school models being used throughout the country where we bring in services like counselors, uh, psychologists, health services. We rent out that space to these services that are then available to our children and we're able to keep our community schools open. Um, I can tell you for sure that would be a godsend for us. Uh, I have to work part-time now, but if we could actually spend a little less time driving our children over here to all of the appointments they need, I could work full-time, and that would be wonderful. Um, and I'm also concerned um, about losing those relationships. Um, our crossing guard, she knows all of our children. She asks about them. Um, we know all the teachers and the principal. Thank you.